Chief Minister N. Viran assures no compromise on security on the 130 Manipur Police Rising Day. 7 Butli and MR Commandant T. Lalboy Hawkib receives DZP Running Trophy for Best Butli in 2021. Quirambad Nupi Kaitel Sinfam and Saktam Kanbatlu warns against selling of traditional handloom eong fee by non locket shops at Quirambad Ima Kaitel. Manipur reports 95 new COVID-19 cases, 116 recoveries and 4 deaths in past 24 hours. COVID positivity rate stands at 3.81%. And India at 13,058 fresh COVID-19 cases, 19,470 recoveries and 164 deaths in past 24 hours. Recovery rate stands at 98.14%. Hello and welcome to Impact News Watching Primetime English Bulletin. I'm Kangusam Shalira. To stay protected from coronavirus, wash your hands frequently, wear a mask properly and maintain a safe distance. Now the news in details. Manipur celebrated 130th Rising Day of Manipur Police at the parade ground of First Battalion Manipur Rifles today. Chief Minister Nautaman Birin graced the event. He took salute from 16 Mars Pass contingents consisting of combined Manipur Rifles male contingents, combined Indian Reserve Battalion male contingent number no. 1, combined Indian Reserve Battalion male contingent number no. 2, Civil Police Infault West male, Civil Police Infault East male, Civil Police Bisnupur male, combined Civil Police male, combined Civil Police male contingent Hill District number no. 1, combined Civil Police male uh, contingent Hill District number no. 2, combined Commando contingent, 9 Indian Reserve Mahila Battalion contingents, Combined Civil Police Infault East and Infault West Female Contingent, Home Guard Male Contingent, Combined BDF Male Contingent, Traffic Police Women Contingent and Manipur Police Dog Squad Infault East and Infault. Eight IRB Deputy Commandant Kamnam Drominson was the parade commander. Speaking on the occasion, Chief Minister Andrew and clouded Manipur Police for the role in maintaining peace in the state and for the efforts in combating COVID-19 pandemic. The Chief Minister presented awards, trophies and commendations to deserving police officers at the event. Speaking on the occasion, Chief Minister N. Biren said government will never support immoral police and will award befitted punishment to those concerned. He reiterated that Manipur police nor the government will never ever compromise with security and miscreants. The Chief Minister also expressed sadness over yesterday's accident which claimed three lives. He advised the public to strictly abide by traffic rules to avoid road mishaps. Cabinet ministers, MLS, DZP and top police officers attended the function. compromise. Speaking at the event, DZP LM Kauti said Manipur Police Department is one of the best police department in India. He said that as per a report by India today, 
Manipur Police Department is the best among small states of India. He recalled that Nombok Sekmai Police Station was selected among the best police stations of India. He said Manipur Police had always played a commendable role in maintaining law and order in the state. He informed that Manipur Police along with Indian Army and Paramilitary Forces had conducted many counter-insurgency operations and area domination and had helped bring certain members of underground organization into the national mainstream. DCP running trophy for the best battalion in 2021 with a cash reward of 15,000 rupees and a DCP commendation certificate was presented to Commandant of the 7th Battalion Manipur Rifle T. Lal Boy Hawkeep, MCS Commandant of 8th Indian Reserve Battalion Dr. Rashini Yankomt MPS received 2nd best battalion in 2021 with 10,000 rupees cash and a DZP commendation certificate and Deputy Commandant of 8th Battalion Manipur Rifles Tingnam De Sorsit MPS received 3rd best battalion in 2021 consisting a cash reward of 5,000 rupees and a DZP commendation certificate. Inspector Kangjam Santos, officer in charge Kongzom Police Station, received a cash reward of 15,000 rupees and a commendation certificate for the best police station 2021, while five senior police officers back commendation rolled with this award. Annual best police officer award was conferred to Ukru District, Shangshat Police Station, OC Inspector Hobson Chikfong. Manipur Police na army of strong paramilitary forces ka loyna loyna na sanctioned by intensive counter insurgency operations. Ama strong area domination na maram moiduna. UC activities yamna antare state asig security environment shu yamna agade counter insurgency operation ama strong state asig rehabilitation policy singna maram moiduna. Masing yang lama, lona ya lama uji grup kaya, ama national mainstream da join to free. Suspension of operations ama sung tunga tunga ama uji grup singna. Sign tunga kiba agreement ama sung demo EU singna Manipur si santi gilambi da pura free kaya maye singna tadle. Kwaramba Nupi Kaitel Sinfam and Saktam Kanbaloop has warrant against selling of traditional Tanlum Iyong fee at shops owned by Nant locals at Kwaramba Ima Kaitel. Speaking to media at Kwaramba Ima Market No. 1 today, Association Secretary Tingu Zamdrani condemned the sale of duplicate Tanlum items by Nant locals in the market and warrant of dire consequences. Kaitan untuk apa? Hari dari lambi ke kaitan ke kena balik tu, bah. Adalah sini malam hari kaitan lom je, nomor nomor si dar tu na. Apa kaitan sini mud kipai apa film lah, bah. Semua matang si dar apa na. Manipur ini state government amati kaitan sini malai leh, na bah. Ayam sini mewah sini dar apa na. Hajar ini siapa? Kaitan sini si kamera itu ke hingkat ke dek ya kamera itu ke kaitan sini mizi paman ke dek ya habi wakan dem tak kena bidre. Jadi tau je. Kena bau yang bidre apa na lau ko kongba. Apa na lau jari ko kongjari ko siapa na tabi mantel leh. Masih apa kat tengi nanti apa kaitan sini. All Manipur ini apa. Aduna jisti kudingi huzi live ya hantar ke government sini ada ibu mama ke government na jisti kudingi orang na nupi kaitan ni mak kaitan macam cai ba. Singgi jisti kudingi cai, tanpa ke jisti kudingi cai. Jisti kuai cai ni paman biar ke dia lama cukup tak isipan dia macam macam cai, susu cai ruh ba. Aduna mui na pam cang cang tau ba, bija bela pam tau ba, ngasa ke pam tau ba macam sini na mui na gari mampu tu mampu raga sulam bija mui tu ruh ni yoni habi pima mula eh ba. Kaitan mungkin dah tarik mungkin sakit kita buat amta tau ke. Sini mula mui raga kaitan je minta pam bina bela itu ba. Locals have demanded withdrawal of the proposed alternative housing project at Langol Game Village, John 3, Punsi Laikai Playground by PDA within 10 days. A protest demonstration against the proposal was teased at Mighty Langol today. Speaking on the sidelines, President of United Committee Manipur, Mighty Langol Unit, Haupizam Samu said that the playground served as a recreational park for locals and especially for children in the area. He warned of the intense agitations along with civil bodies including total shutdown of Langold area if government failed to revoke the project. It may be mentioned that locals protested construction of the housing complex on October 8. 
Mayan da aki akang tahun bagi mong da tautan lak pasik masih mayan da pende tunggi haruk kata bawa ngang singgi Oi bawa wakalun da ikuin na hai bawa playground si playground na tambiu wad na hai jaban ni Masih komuniti amat tak kena te komuniti kuring mak kini Komuniti kuring mak cana cina na lebay si ikuin kering mak pak amat da playground na mada pun cana mina da na pami na da na nuksi cana na wari cana rumah tam da Manipur da tundu lai ta basu pura kato ribon ni mayan bun nuksi pita na Ukian cengna, ekoi bayam bunuk si pirekan ni, hai pasi ekoi ekoi bayam na, yang cina thaja jai. Human Rights Law Networks held one the workshop on the emerging issue of the human rights in Manipur at Jain Manipur Dance Academy Auditorium today. Former member of Manipur State Commission for Protection of Child Rights, K. Pradeep Kumar, was the moderator of the workshop. Associate Professor of Manipur University, Dr. Chingland Maisnam, Human Rights Activist Bablu Loitongbom, Caesar Hospital Concerned Health Pediatricians, Dr. Yaikomba Tauremt, and T.H. Premlata get resourceful insights on various topics. Speaking on the occasion, Director of Human Rights Law Network Rakis Mehobom said human rights have been suppressed during the past two years of COVID-19 pandemic. He said recommendations received from the workshop will be apprised to the government. ไม่แน่นะให้ก็บอกว่าตรงจะต้องเป็นสิ่งนั้นเสียมาตัวกระมันนะโอ้ยไอ้ชิ้นอะไรก็กระมันนะมาดูดีเอาว่าไปดูค
কোভিড পেসেন্টসে লাক আখন খর হোনারি যাব পেনদন মাব খোলে আপনি খালে আগে খাদে সামটাইম যা পেনবসে কিন্তু হয়ে কান সিজনরদ ওহে হাইবারিজনপ আগে মাম জায়গা কী দি কায় খাব ফাইভ স্টার হোটেল ট্রিট তোমাদের মানে ওরব আগুমি এই আগে আই লাইফ নাইদ মোয় পেনব চাক থাকে এভরি থিং লাই পেসা পুথোমে আখন হোনারি সরকার লোক পিবস নতে সরকার পিবদ সব পার্সেন্টেজ খর খাটনি আদম এমন খাঙনি লোকেল এরিয়া ফন্ড কে পেসা খর সিজন হয় সিজনারি পেসা দু ওইব পোটে যাব কোয়ান্টিটি আখনই ইসা রন তো প্রজা সে হিঙ্গরগ্রেন খাগি মিয়ামত হোনার লাপসে মধ্যে মোয় খর আদমায় তো এই আদম খতং এই লাইফ তো নাই Manipur reported 95 new confirmed cases of COVID-19 out of 2,488 samples tested in the last 24 hours. Today's COVID positivity rate stands at 3.81%. As per the latest report from State Health Department and COVID-19 Common Control Room, total confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Manipur have reached 1,22,899. Active cases are 1,358. Four COVID patients died, two from the Infault East and one each from Kampukpi and Thabal District died in the past 24 hours. Their toll has reached 1,901. On the positive note, 116 recoveries were reported in the past 24 hours, rising the total recovered cases to 1,19,640. Manipur's recovery rate stands at 97.35%. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring updates on coronavirus cases in India and the world. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back. After the break, we're watching Primetime English Bulletin. India added 13,058 fresh COVID-19 cases, 19,470 recoveries and 164 deaths in the past 24 hours. As per the latest report of the Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, India's COVID-19 active cases have dropped to 183,118. Total recovered cases have reached 3 crore 34 lakhs, 58,801, and recovery rate stands at 98.14%. While the death toll has reached 4 lakh 52,454. COVID-19 vaccine has been administered to more than 98 crore 67 lakhs people in India so far. Globally, coronavirus has infected above 24 crore 20 lakhs 21,000 people, above 49 lakhs 23,000 people have died, and recoveries are above 21 crore 93 lakhs 36,000. USA has the highest active cases of above 95 lakhs 88,000 in the world, followed by India and Brazil. Genem's director, Professor L. Debent, has urged the public to stop depending on doctors outside Manipur as the state is well-equipped with qualified doctors and up-to-date medical infrastructure. 
He was speaking on the sidelines of discharging one paralyzed man after necessary treatment at Janim's under Chief Minister Gihaksil Gitengbang scheme. He said one TH Ibomza took great responsibility and admitted the paralyzed man identified as Jingabong Kumar of Kobuk in Kauting District to Janim's on September 27. Professor N. Deben said that since day one, Janim's doctor Amit and Umez gave medical care to Jingabong Kumar and successfully removed a spinal tumor from the patient on October 1st and met him mobile again. ไอ้คือมาพมจักรอามะตะกิโรอามะตะกิโรอารุกะซากิบิจาตะไอ้คือไม่พมจักรอามะตะกิโรอามะตะกิโรอารุกะซากิบิจาตะไอ้คือแอ
It may be mentioned that Arushi India is an organization working for persons with disabilities and Tontoy is a volunteer of Arushi India and looks after its work carried out in the Northern States. Chief Minister Nongtaman Biran wishes people of the state on the occasion of Miraho Chomba, which falls on October 20. He wishes for the ancestral festival to bring peace, prosperity and harmony among communities in Manipur. Speaker of Manipur Legislative Assembly, Himnam Kamchan, also extends greetings to people of Manipur on the occasion of Meraho Chomba. He wishes for the festival to enhance ancestral ties between hills and valley inhabitants. IPM Minister Thongabis was at also extends greetings on the occasion of Meraho Chongba. In his masses, Minister Biswas wishes peace, prosperity and harmony among communities in Manipur. CAF and PD Minister Thokchom Satyabrata also extends greetings on the occasion of Meraho Chongba. The Shwar named Vizay Marshal or the victory flame that symbolizes India's victory over Pakistan in 1971 war reached Jorjampur today. The victory flame was handed over to Colonel B. Plavd Tripathi, commanding 46 assembly rifles under the aegis of 27 sector assembly rifles, Inspector General assembly rifles, south by the officiating commandant of 5th Maratha Light Infantry at Bisnupur. Sports events and road shows of Churjampur Royal Bikers and cultural performances will be held as a part of the celebration till October 21. Now the sports news. Manipuri Wushu teamed who will be participating in 20 Junior National Wushu Boys and Girls Championship has left in fall for Punjab today. Event will begin at lovely Professor University in Tipakwara Highway, Jalanda, Punjab from October 20 to 25. The team comprising of 22 participants and three officials were flag off by Bisnupur District Wushu Association President Atokpam Siam Chan. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Chief Minister Anne Biran assures no compromise on security on 130 Manipur Police Rising Day. Seven Butlian MR Commandant T. Lalboy Hockey receives DCP Running Trophy for Best Butlian 2021. Quirinbun Nupi tells Sinfam and Saktam Kanbaluk warns against selling of traditional Helum Iyong fee by non local shops at Quirinbun Ima Kaitel. Manipur reports 95 new COVID-19 cases, 116 recoveries and 4 deaths in past 24 hours. COVID positivity rate stands at 3.81%. And in the 13,058 fresh COVID-19 cases, 19,470 recoveries and 164 deaths in past 24 hours. Recovery rate stands at 98.14%. That's all we have in this bulletin. Thank you for being with us. Coming up next is Primetime Manipur Bulletin. For more news, you can follow Impact TV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. Have a great evening and stay safe. Sri Sri Gaurachandrayi Namha Purvashram Dekhoi Khwai Bukon Biramba Raskumar Gopal